Hi, this is Tom Scarta, and I am a certified franchise executive with the International Franchise Association, and I am the author of The Magic of Choosing Uncertainty, and I help people find franchises all over America. I'm here today with my colleague and friend, Harold Kastenbaum, who wrote the great book, So You Want to Franchise Your Business. We have some insight for you here today, and um, first I want to ask Harold, just briefly, tell us how you got started in this. Totally by accident. In 1977, it was my third or fourth job out of law school when I worked for a small firm and he had a client that was a franchise company. And he said, I don't have the time for this. Why don't you go learn it? Mm. So I said, fine, I'm out of law school. What do I know? So for four years, that's what I did. I learned about franchising. And then in 1981, I went out and opened my own office and representing franchisors ever since. Great. So Harold put all more than 30 years of knowledge in his book. I suggest uh, reading it if you're thinking about franchising your business. So for me, I wanted to find out, so if you're at the point where I, you decided I'm franchising, I'm going to franchise my business all over America and maybe beyond, where do you start? Well, first of all, you, let, let's assume we're in the, re, in, in the restaurant or retail business and not the service business, which is a little different. Okay. If you're in, that, in, in the retail space, you, you must have a location. You need to have a pilot operation, that is, you're going to be your, your test location. That's where the franchisees are going to be trained. And, and that location, I tell people, needs to be up and running at least six months, preferably a year. Uh, and it needs to be making money. If it's losing money, then I don't know what you're doing wrong, but if you're losing money, then the chances are the franchisee is going to lose money. So you've got to make sure that that location is making money. Number two, you need to have capital. I mean, it's not, it's not inexpensive to franchise. I mean, I hear people say, oh, somebody told me it's a million dollars to franchise. No, it's not. But you probably need to have between seventy-five dollars and $150,000 of, of money to, to put together the, the documents, the operations manual, the, the strategy, the marketing. You need that. So you can't do it with two, two nickels in the back. I mean, you really need to have money. Uh, and the third thing is single operating franchise companies are very difficult to grow. The, the founder of the company needs to have some support. So you need to have some kind of management in place beside the founder, because I've had so many clients where it's the founder who does the franchise sales, who does the franchise training. They do everything, mm -hmm. and you can't do everything. I mean, it just doesn't work that way. Right. So they need a team. Even if it's his family, they need a team. It has to be a team. When Sabaro started, it was all their family, but it was more than one person. Right. Right, and that, that's always something that people don't realize, that there's so much more behind the name and behind the company, um, just support, just the sales team, because I'm, I'm in the sales end, right, so I match people with franchises, right. and, and I'm always flawed by the amount of people that are at a franchise corporate location. I'll, I'll go to various companies and learn their business. I go to their corporate headquarters. I walk into these places, and of course they're mature, but they'll have 50 people working. Oh yeah, I mean, I've been to Subway's headquarters, and it's it's enormous. I mean, they have 25,000 locations, but it is a they have their own buildings, not just one building. Right. And they have a training facility. They have they have an actual Subway restaurant in the building for people. To, it's it's an enormous, wow. enormous operation. And but I'm not I'm not saying that, that that's how you start. He started in 1960. Right. Okay, with one sub shop. Yeah. Okay. People don't realize that. People don't realize that. But it took him all this time to get to where he is. And he did it with, with help, family. I mean, he has a lot of support. Yeah. No, obviously, he, and he made mistakes. He'll hope Fred will talk about it all oh, the time. Fred, and he wrote the forward to my book. Fred's yeah. a good friend of mine, and he'll talk about that. Yeah. And he, he almost threw the keys on a table and walked away after the first three. They weren't making money. Yeah. He stuck with it, though. Yeah. So there's a lot of persistence. Also, I hear kind of what you're saying is, build it and they will come. I mean, you, you can't start out of your garage and, and start doing franchise training. Out this of is not Apple computer where you do it in a garage. No, no. Steve Jobs did it that way, but in the franchise business, it doesn't work that it's way. It's way different, yeah, because yeah. you're, you're buying a, the support, right? I mean, That's you're right. You're buying the support, you're buying a model, okay, that hopefully works, not one that they're, they're still tinkering with. Right. So that's why when I tell somebody who wants a franchise, at least be in business for six months, but preferably at least a year. Right. Great. Well, thank you so much, Harold, for uh, giving us your insight here about how to franchise your business. If you want to contact Harold directly, all the information is below this video. 
And uh, again, I'm Tom Scarta, and uh, you can reach me at my uh, email. And uh, feel free to call me directly, too. All the information is below. Thanks so much.